As educators, we know that it's in our best interest to make our content as accessible to as many people as possible. And one way that we can do this is through co closed captionings. Now, if you've ever done closed captioning before, you'll know that it's an incredibly time-consuming process. Not difficult, but definitely time-consuming, and there's no easy way around it. Unless you're willing to pay somebody to do it for you, you just have to put in the time and effort in order to get those caption files created. However, what I'm getting ready to show you is a way that you can use YouTube to create these caption files in what I think is probably the easiest way I've found yet. Now I have used other software packages before to try to do closed captions, and I can say that this is by far the easiest way I've ever tried. There are a few prereqs that you have to take into consideration when watching this tutorial. First, you have to be able to upload your media into YouTube. And YouTube will accept video files and audio files if those audio files are converted to videos. And it will allow you to do all of the captioning of both of these. However, you have to own the copyright to these videos in order to be able to upload them. By default, you can upload 15 minutes worth of content, but there is a way, and in the text-based tutorials that are attached to this, you'll find ways to increase your allotment for your video size. The other prereq is that you have to have a YouTube account, which should be the same as your Google account. And you have to have already uploaded your video or media into YouTube. Now we're not going to discuss in this tutorial how to upload that media, but you can just Google it and you'll find instructions on how to do it. It's really quite easy. All right, so I'm going to start by going to youtube.com and I'm just going to sign in, which I already have done, and I know that because I see my icon in the upper corner. All right, now that I'm in YouTube using my Google account, I'm going to click on this. This is my user icon and I'm going to choose Creator Studio. Now I want to locate the video that I need to caption and I don't see it here so I'm just going to say view all 26 and I'll scroll down until I locate the video that I want. I'm going to use this one right here. Now don't click on it. What I want you to do instead is next to edit choose the drop down menu and we're going to select subtitles and close captions. Now if this is the first time you've done this, you may be asked to select your video language. Mine is English. And if most of the videos that you will be uploading in the future will also be this language, you can select the default for new upgrade, uploads. If not, just leave that blank and choose set language. Right. Now from the blue bar up here, I'm going to choose add new subtitles or closed captions and I'll select the language that I chose earlier. And once again, I'm going to click Create New Subtitles or Closed Captions. Right, so what you see here on the left are YouTube's AI closed captions, meaning that they've used an artificial intelligence algorithm to go in and decipher what it thinks that you're saying. If you don't see anything over here, then from the Actions menu, just choose Auto-Generate, and it will go through, YouTube will go through and auto-generate a set of caption files for you. Right, now all you need to do is just edit what's already here, and I'm going to do that by clicking on the Play button and just listening and comparing what's in my video to what's highlighted over here. Now when I find a problem, all I want to do is just click Stop and come over here and capitalize it or type in whatever it is that you want to type in. I have found that while this does a wonderful job where it does falter is in punctuation. So even if I pause it won't put a comma, even if I end a sentence it doesn't realize that. So I do normally go in and add that punctuation. Also adding capitalization is important as well. When I'm finished, I'm just going to come back up here at the top and click Save Changes. And now you'll see that I have two caption files. I have the automatic and I have the English. So if I click this and I back this up a little bit, you can see where I capitalized the C for classroom. Now don't be alarmed. Sometimes if it's a long video, these caption files will take a little bit of time to publish and you'll see that it's not, it says publish pending. Don't worry, it will publish it and everything's going to be good. 
Now one of the other things that you can do with this, let's say you did not want to leave your videos on YouTube, is that you can download this file. So if you click on your caption file here, and go back into the editing mode, underneath actions, what you can do is download this in a lot of different formats. So um, most other files like, um, I mean, most other video holding areas such as VoiceThread, um, Kaltura, etc. will use this SRT file. If you want something that more closely resembles a transcript file, what you can do is come here under Actions and choose this SRT file. And when it downloads from your browser, I use Chrome, but I think this works in most browsers. Under File, choose Open File and then choose that SRT file that you just downloaded and you'll see it comes up here. So what you would want to do then is just highlight and copy all of this and paste it into a Word document or a Google Doc, whatever it is that you normally use. And that way all of your students will have this transcript file. Some students like this text-based file over a closed caption file, especially if um, they're using it for studying purposes because they can highlight and, ca and copy out of this or they can highlight important features almost like notes from your lecture. So those are my easy tips for closed captioning your videos using YouTube as well as downloading these caption files for use in other applications and as a transcript.